Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're all having an amazing day. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jazzy Singh. I'm an accountant turned management consultant specializing in business development and fast growth. Today, we're looking at what platform should you build your website in 2021. There are too many options to build a website in 2021 in all budgets, all kind of technology integrations and all the automation. Building a website in 2021 is really important because that's the only place you own your content. We're undertaking quite a few website projects at the moment. One of the most common question have come up during the discovery session is what website platform are we gonna use to build a website? Is it gonna be Squarespace? Is it Wix? Is it WordPress? Is it Shopify? Is it a custom PHP website? What is the best option? The answer is, it depends. It depends what you want your website to do for you and what do you want to get out of it? Something like Squarespace and Wix might be a great option if you're a lean startup. It's a great space to host your content and you can start generating some traffic to tell the world what you do. They're quite easy to set up and you can also self-manage them without an extensive knowledge of CMS or any coding background. But before you sign up to either of these platforms, make sure you understand your requirements. What do you wanna get out of these platforms? For example, one of our client in India originally signed up to Squarespace only to find out Squarespace does not support their local currency. So they ended up going back to VIX. So it's best to check all your requirements before you sign up to any of the platforms. I'm personally a huge fan of Squarespace. Almost everyone gets surprised when we tell them that our own website, kcg.co, is hosted on Squarespace. And they're great with SEO as well. If you Google search Moscow method or beer and bet feedback, we rank on top in global Google search. Let's look at Shopify. Shopify was made popular by dropshippers. There are plenty of options for integrations and customization, and it integrates really well if you are selling products that are being dropshipped. WordPress, another great option. WordPress is a great option for budget-friendly websites. WordPress offers a great CMS, so you don't have to build the entire backend from scratch, but it also allows to have all kind of customizations, do your own code, and customize it until your heart's content. Nearly one in three websites online are powered by WordPress. 15% of top 100 websites are powered by WordPress. Some of the most popular ones you probably already have heard about is Walt Disney Company, Sony Music, news.microsoft.com. They're all powered by WordPress. So rest assured, it's another great platform to use to build your website in 2021. The last option we're looking at today is custom PHP with a bootstrap. This one is always going to be the fast performing website. It's also going to be the most expensive one out of everything we've looked at today. If website load speed is important to you, this might be a good option, especially if your website is being visited by people from slow internet places. That's where the speed is gonna be crucial. If you're in a country like Australia, have a local website, you're only targeting people in Melbourne Metro, this might not be a huge advantage to you because we already have 4G internet on mobiles everywhere and NBN at home. So custom PHP, especially on a small static website, might not make a huge difference for you. If you're still unsure on which platform you could be building your next website, drop us a message. Would love to talk to you about that. If you've got any value out of this video today, give it a little like and comment. And if you're interested in business or personal growth, consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos like this one. Thanks again for your time today and I'll see you next time.